So, I mean, the way to think of this platform is that there, uh, on an average day, there are over 250 million people on the platform. That's an average day. Some, some days it's more like three or 400 million and a really crazy day could be like 500 million. So, I mean, we're, you know, just, we're, at, the, at times we're starting to approach 10% of all humans who are online are on the platform. So, so that's, I think we, we do exceed 10% of all humans at times on this platform. So it seems crazy to ignore this platform because then you're just going to reach far fewer people. Well, well, Elon, bottom line here, the proof is in the pudding. You judge the tree by its fruits. You are the only massive platform that's open and free. People are hungry. It's exploding. This is the example for the world. And we're trying to stop war. We're trying to create a pro-human future. <laughs> this is what this is really all about. I've been very honored. Alex, Ali, before, before you're honored, just to give you an idea of how Spaces works. And just in the last couple of hours, that was meant to be an interview with you. Then Elon jumped on, Andrew Tate, his brother, we just had Vivek jump on, and Matt Gates just jumped on as well. Love this. And that's it's one, thi one thing with space, you just never know who could come up. Matt, how are you? I'm great. I'm enjoying hearing Elon's perspective on adding value to all of our followerships and uh, allowing us to engage. Your thoughts on Alex Jones being back on the platform? I think it's great. Alex has been someone who's provoked a lot of critical thinking from policymakers and broad audiences. You know, of course, there are things that I'm going to say that would offend people, things that Alex would say that would offend people, but I think they'll just have to be offended. I think it's, I think it enriches the discussion to have Alex back. Yeah, I've got a few questions. My first question is we've seen extremely positive steps in terms of the return of Alex Jones. We've seen the return of Andrew Tate. We've seen the return of President Trump. And so X is definitely moving towards a free speech platform. My question is, when will we be able to get to a situation where it's completely free speech and it's just based solely on following the legal laws? of the country. I know it's a process and it takes time, but how far do we envision this happening?